Here in America, February 17, 2009 is the date that Congress has mandated that analog television must cease to exist. However, we have a new digital system that's already taking its place, and this is what you'll need to know. Now, why is analog television going away? Well, the original plan was to free up those frequencies for use by emergency personnel, such as medical, fire, and rescue teams, so they could communicate more effectively. However, nowadays, we've learned that radio frequencies and spectrum in general is a very valuable commodity, and it remains to be seen whether or not that will actually serve its original purpose. Now, digital TV has a couple of advantages over its analog ancestor. Namely, better video quality. You're able to deliver a digital signal, meaning that it should be the equivalent of watching, say, a DVD movie on your TV. That, that kind of clarity. And digital also enables us to deliver both standard and high-definition programming over the air. Very nice. Also, digital TV enables metadata. Basically, they can incorporate additional streams of data into the video signal as well so that your TV can receive this and display it. Could be anything from, say, a stock ticker to shopping information or product information about what you're currently seeing on the TV to other services as well. Now, most of us do not receive our television programming via antennas or over the air, what they call terrestrial broadcasting. Most of us get our TV via satellites or cable television subscription. In those two cases, namely your cable and your satellite TV subscribers, you won't notice a thing when this digital transition occurs next year. Your provider, your satellite or your cable TV provider, will ensure that you're going to receive a signal no matter what kind of TV you have. Ta-da! <laughs> now, if you'd like to continue receiving that free over-the-air television programming after February 2009, you're going to need a digital tuner. Now, this can either be built into the TV itself or as a standalone separate box that you can hook up to an older TV. Now, if you think your TV might be equipped with a digital tuner, one way to verify is to look in the manual. Under the spec sheet for the tuner itself, it should list a feature called ATSC or 8VSB. Now, if it has either one of those things listed, odds are it is equipped with the digital tuner already. You can go ahead and connect your cable to your antenna and tune those digital channels right now. Currently in the United States, there are over 1,600 stations broadcasting in digital today. As, and, and this covers over 212 markets across the United States. So if you're near any major city, you, odds are you're receiving that programming right now, and you can take advantage of it today. Now, if you have a TV that doesn't have that digital tuner built into it, the government is here to help. Congress has created the Digital TV Converter Box Program, actually just the Converter Box Program, where you can get up to two $40 coupons per household that can be applied toward a converter box that converts that new digital signal into something compatible for your old-school analog TV. Now, if you want to take advantage of digital television today, there is a great website called antennaweb.org that provides information about not only what's available in your area, you can literally type in your zip code and it'll tell you what channels are currently being broadcast where you live, it'll also give you guidance in terms of selecting an antenna that's appropriate for your environment. It also provides how-to and hands-on experiences from other users as well. It's all in all a terrific resource to take advantage of. One quick point about digital television. DTV, or digital television, is not the same thing as HDTV. HDTV represents the highest resolutions that are available in the DTV formats, namely 720p and 1080i. DTV in and of itself encompasses standard and high definition resolutions, everything from 480i, standard definition, all the way up to 1080i. So keep that in mind when you're shopping around. If you want an HD experience from your DTV reception, you would not only need that digital converter box or the tuner built into the TV, but you would need an HD TV itself and everything configured properly to display an HD picture, as well as an HD source. For PC Magazine, I'm Robert Heron.